Hey everybody, I'm at the school building and uh, sort of just in my room. There's no students th this week, but uh, I wanted to take a second and look at my new toy that I got for Christmas. I asked uh, for this from Santa Claus and he delivered. So let me focus on that. It's called a Galton board. Uh, this thing is amazing. If you've ever seen those Newton cradles, Newton's cradles that you can hang out on the desk, that's more of like a physics thing where you like pull the ball and it'll it'll go back and forth. This is sort of like the stats version. So there are 3,000 ball bearings in here, 3,000 up in this hopper, okay? And uh, what happens is you take this and you flip and they're going to randomly go into all these slots. Now you'll notice that uh, it does something pretty cool. Hopefully you're already thinking what I'm thinking. Oh, wow, it makes a normal distribution. And then you'll notice that they even put the standard deviation lines on here, right? So that's sort of a throwback to last section. Now, uh, we're not learning about these normal distributions right now, but uh, we are actually learning about binomial distributions. So this right here is actually a binomial distribution if you look at all these pegs up here. So we'll talk about these numbers in a second. But um, just like I just showed an example in the video of this lesson, uh, this is a binomial setting, okay? Because as they travel, so I've got my finger up here, as they travel down the hopper, let me zoom in or focus, they hit that first peg there and they have to make a choice, right? They can either go to the left or they can go to the right, correct? Then they repeat that choice on the next column. They can go left or right. And then they just ha they have to continue making those choices, those binary choices, all the way down. And what happens here is the majority of those pegs, the most outcomes are gonna be in the center spot right here. So this is a random variable. You'll notice, look at these numbers here. They're all, they're all numbered one all the way to 28, those are the possibilities. Those are the random variables. We talk about this idea of random variable. We have numbered each slot here. So it's a random variable because it's a numeric. Now it's a binomial random variable because you have to make binary choices all the way down. So let's look at this again. Let me, uh, let me show you this. Flip that back. All the balls go back in the hopper. Pretty neat. We flip this guy. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, when I got this, I could not stop smiling. <laughs> uh, another cool fact about this is that there is one copper ball bearing in here. I have not found it yet. Is that it? Wait. Wait. Is today the day? Phone can't focus. I think that's it. Yes, I did find it. Now, holy cow, got to take a screenshot of this. Got it. Wow. Uh, that's the first day I found it, and it happened live. You guys got to see it. Now, you'll notice where that copper ball bearing is, right? Look at it. It's right right here. Now, what deviations? Well, it's between negative 1 and positive 1. Well, if we talk about probability, what was the probability it was going to be between this, uh, this standard deviation right here and the one on the right? Well, that would be uh, 68%. Well, what's the probability that it would land on the next set of deviations between this one here and this one here. Well, that'd be 95%. Remember, we talked about that. And then you have the third deviations on the outside here. That would be 99.7. And we don't have an option to go beyond that. That's okay. All right, one more point I want to make in this video. What happens if I take this, let me back up a little bit, and I tilt it this direction, right? What happens? Well, let's go ahead and flip it. I'm trying to hold my camera and do this. Hopefully you predicted that that would happen. Now, what happened here is that we have a skewed right distribution. It is still binomial. It's binary, right? Because they still have to make the choices on these pegs up here. Do I go left or do I go right? Well, they're more influenced to go to the left. That means their probability is higher to go to the left, right? What happens when I make it flat? Let's go back down. What's the probability on each peg? Well, each peg has a 
50 50 chance 50 percent to go left 50 percent to go right and so uh that's the example that i showed you in uh before we you looking at this video here is uh we have these probabilities left or right but it's still binomial no matter what as long as you have two choices it's binomial okay now, if we were to talk about something called trinomial, that would be three choices, okay? Uh, but we don't do that in here. We focus primarily on binomial, and this one just so happens to make a normal distribution, which is pretty awesome.